Hi, hi! Welcome to my channel. For who don't know, I am Andrea and this is a Latina living in Florida. So today, I'm going to talk about how to find a Latina girlfriend. So pay attention. Okay, you can go to any Latin American country to find a Latina, of course. And even in the United States, you can find Latinas now everywhere, yeah, Miami, Tampa, and even in other states, right? But uh, I'm gonna talk specific about Colombia because I'm from Colombia, so I can I can talk better about that. So in Colombia, you come, for example, for vacation. And the best places that you can be see that you can uh, reach easily a Latina it's in the big cities right and I'm gonna talk about the big cities because are the more popular and also because are more touristic right so a lot of uh, people uh, for other countries go to the cities um, these cities are Medellin Cali, Bogota, Barranquilla, Santa Marta, Cartagena, and of course there is other cities in Colombia, but these are the more popular. So you can go over there to like a for vacation, right? And you can visit a lot of like a tourist places, and there you can uh, meet a Latina, right? And I'm gonna talk about these tourist places in other videos. But today I just gonna talk about where how you can find a Latina girlfriend. For example, other way that you can go to Colombia to find this Latina is in the times when uh, there are some events in the cities. And for example, I'm from Cali. So in Cali we have like a Semana Santa that is in April. And in this uh, week, people go a lot to Kalima Lake. In Kalima Lake, they do a big party. And there are a lot of Latinas that go to there. It's a really place to have a vacation. There is the lake, there are hotels, there are a lot of things there. So it's a really nice place to visit. But like I told you, I'm going to talk about the places that you can go in other video. So, uh, you can have this opportunity to reach a Latina in Semana Santa. And also, uh, for example, in Cali we had a feria, like a parade. And this feria is in December. Uh, usually it starts after 7 December, that is my birthday. So, after 7 December, there are like a different parades uh, in the city, right? About cars, about dance, about flowers, and yeah, different things. And also, there are other events that it called Tascas, where there are a lot of different uh, places where you can go taste different food from different places from Colombia. And uh, also, there are some like a uh, discotheques open, like uh, you can drink um, beers or alcohol, and also like uh, have like a big parties, you know. So in December it's like a big party in all city. So almost all December is this party, and everybody is like a uh, yes in party. So you can go in this time. I think there is a lot of Americans that go in December because they don't want to miss these parades and they don't want to miss these, uh, these uh, parties. And also there are like uh, uh, concerts, right? Concert for salsa, bachata, a lot of music also. So it is really nice this time for my city. It's really important. Or uh, even a lot of people from other uh, Cities from Colombia go to Cali in December, and this uh, finish like a thirty, like a thirty December or thirty one. So it's almost all month. So it is pretty nice. So I uh, suggest you guys, if you want to go to Colombia for a travel, you can go in Semana Santa, 
or you can go in December. Oh, obviously, you can go in other times of the year, right? But uh, these times are really nice and cool to go to Colombia. And also, well, you can reach uh, Latinas uh, for people that can go to Colombia for vacation. Also, you can reach a Latinas towards uh, websites, right? There are a lot of websites uh, that promote like a dating, right? And I have a couple of websites that I think that are pretty important or like I'm pretty serious with these uh, datings because there are a lot of places, but some places are like, a, they are not serious, you know, like, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't think that these places don't work good, so. I'm gonna just say some that I think that it are pretty good and I told that because like I told you in other videos I was using uh, one uh, website to date in, um, people from other countries because it was like I was like 21 years old because I was in a relationship with a Colombian and I really passed back time this relationship so I was really like uh, so sad and like uh, I give up I don't want to have any more relationship with a Colombian so listen everything happened like this I broke with a boyfriend right and it was really hard for me I was so sad I was I just I don't know what, what happened so anyway this guy broke my heart and I was so bad and I was driving in the car when I hear in the radio about some place for dating people outside from your country and then I say oh okay why not why not definitely I give up from Colombia I don't want dating any one more Colombia so then I write the number phone. It was like a sign for me. I write the number phone, and then I call. I don't know if I call that day or the next day because I was just crying. You know, I was 21 years old. So, so uh, I was. Uh, I call, and then this place. Uh, they make like a little profile of me, right? So I have to. Uh, to go over there in person, right? And uh, they took a pictures of me in different clothes. I have bring clothes, like a sport clothes, like a, a dresses, um, yeah, different kind of clothes. And they uh, help you to build your profile as a girl. And also they asked me what were my hobbies and what were, what were my, my studies. And yeah, they helped me build my profile. They are they were really uh, professional people. They also asked me what I was looking for. Uh, you want a boyfriend? You want a serious relationship? You want to have friends? And I say I am looking for a husband. I'm done with uh, with boyfriends. I won't have a serious relationship and I thought okay this is my best uh, opportunity to find my soulmate to find the person that I really want to be with me the rest of, of his life so I was so excited with this place I'm gonna tell you the name in a little while so uh, I probably uh, was in this uh, site I don't know, it was for a year, I guess for a year. And I dated different people, right? And so the girl shoes who person when she dated, right? Uh, you can see their profile, right? And then you can uh, choose use uh, three people and you're gonna have them a meeting with these people. These people actually uh, travel to to Colombia to meet in this girl because he's interesting to 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 meet this girl because he won't marry her, you know? So but before this, right, uh, the the girl having talking in the side uh, uh throw our message, right? 
So that is uh, the guys. Now I wanna talk about for the part of the guys. The guys get into this place and build a profile, right? There are some different memberships and you pay different money uh, depending on how uh, many features you can use in the in the site. So uh, the memberships go, uh, I guess, from twenty dollars to two hundred dollars or more, depending on how long do you gonna be in the site, and yeah, all the features that the site uh, um, bring to you, right? So the guys when pay this membership, they can talk with the girls towards message, right? Uh, it's uh, not allowed to to share uh, private information like number phones or email or whatever. You have always talked towards the website. A lot of people do that. I don't know if they just get in trouble or something, but whatever. So this guy uh, can talk with all the girls he wants, right? And finally, he also shoots. Uh, what uh, girls he want meeting probably also probably three I really in that in that uh, specific information I don't know because I wasn't the man that do the membership but I can talk in the part of the woman I can uh, choose three so when there is uh, uh, these meetings the guy I believe so he he pay a packet I this it's part of his membership that he come to Colombia, he go to Colombia, and then they give him hotel, and he stay there for a week, right? To meeting these girls, because like the girl gonna meet uh, three guys, the guy come here to meet like three girls or more. I really I don't know, uh, but yes, it's, it's it's worse like this. So, for example, when I get my meetings. We always met in the in the place, right? We met in the place where the office, uh, this place works. You know, we don't meet outside because they also protect the security for the girl, right? Because she don't know. So yeah, the meetings are there, and then once you have the meeting, the three guys, then you choose with what person. Uh, you feel uh, more comfortable and then you can have more ratings with this person and finally you uh, have a dating with this person outside from the from the side you know so uh, in that meetings you more uh, shares like information about yeah about you your hobbies you ask everything that you can to this girl and the girl asks a lot of things about the guy also and also they have like a little dinner really really romantic dinner they make this um i think it's, it's pretty nice you know uh, if it's the people that is there is really serious uh you're definitely gonna find your soulmate there because uh you spend time in this you know you, you are not it's not for games so once uh you uh she is the person and this person also feels like she she feels comfortable with you that she wants to uh, meet you more then uh, you can meet outside uh, from the place yeah like it's like a the place say okay we are done with you you feel like a uh, comfortable each other and anyway they keep uh, tracking this uh, relationship they call the girl and ask if everything is okay if this person have been really polite with her and all that stuff so yeah you now build this relationship with this person that's this person that can go and visit your family so it's everything like a process you know so it's because I said that I was there like a one year because it's not like one day, it's the, it takes time. But it was a war for me in that moment because, guys, I'm gonna tell you, I, I'm gonna give you some also advice, is right. First, if you had um, tried to date in a girl, right, in these places, 
you have to show your best, you know, everybody try to show their best because they won't get this girl or get this guy or whatever. But you have your really like, truthfully, you also always have to be the true, right? I'm gonna lie about nothing because Latinos don't don't forget lies. Just if she lie in the first time and then she find out that you lie, uh, forget it. So. Also, I'm gonna tell you why I don't work this for me. I was really interested in some person, but this person uh, tried to like uh, change uh, the way that I was and I feel a little uncomfortable with this. Like uh, for example, we went to, uh, to eat something in a restaurant and then the waitress asked me, what do you want to drink? And I said, I want to drink water. And he said, no, she want a soda. Oh, I say I want salad. No, she want an hamburger, and I was like, "What?" I said, oh, "Wait, wait a minute." And then I saw that he also want change with a dress, and I was like, "Okay, he want like a change everything." I have plans to travel to his uh, country to visit visit his family, and meet his family, and everything. But when I see these things. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot imagine if I'm gonna go to this country and then he gonna just start telling me how I have had, how I have talked, how I have dressed, how I have do things. Forget it. Listen, you don't gonna go over there to found a robot with a daughter. You gonna found a girl and that girl have his her own personality, her own way to be, her own way to dress. So don't try to change the person. It's the worst thing that you can do. Just enjoy. The Latinas are so simple. They are so happy. They are so passionate. They are so family. Like they like being family. So don't try to change her. It's just wet so waste of time. I definitely I uh, don't like that, so I just broke that relation, and I think that it was the best that I can do because I don't imagine my life in that way, you know. So yeah, guys. Uh, other thing that I talk in other video was that when you are building your profile and you put in your pictures you uh, put pictures about you and your hobbies where you need to practice some soccer some sport you know um but the pictures in the best car like uh, pictures that show that you have money mm, well, I, I don't think so there are good pictures for profile and also I think that you're gonna uh, you say you wanna attract attract air. Yeah, the girls are gonna be uh, behind you or, or, or interested in your profile are girls that are interested in your money and you don't want that right? You want really a serious relationship so forget it, don't do that. And other thing guys I talk a lot of, with a lot of guys in this um, side. Um, a lot of guys uh, talk about that they have houses in all the different countries and they have a lot of cars and they have the super business and all these things. And I was like, oh uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it was like I getting hit and get out. I really, I don't interest in that. So I was like, when I uh, talk about what, what was his personality or something like that, it was so empty that it's a waste of time also, right? So if you do that, the only that you're gonna find are girls that are interested in your money. Use that. So don't do it. Don't do it. Be smart, you know, like, be more like, how you say that? Yeah, be cautious about that. Don't say that you have a lot of money. Don't do that because there are also girls that are looking for a sugar daddy. I guess you could call here in America sugar daddy. 
um, it is not a relationship. It is you like you had sex and you give me money. And I really, there are a lot of places to find that. So these places are for serious relationships. So, okay, so I think it is important that you have in mind that what you should don't do it i just tell you as an advice because i was in that places and i found a lot of guys told me that way and the only thing that i was doing is blocking block them or uh i just uh yeah i just post to the next uh, guy and then i don't pay attention to me. i i always block them because i don't want to listen anymore about that things right the girls have been careful also because there are also uh, like a probably fake profiles that use one like a, a trata de blancas in español it's called trata de blancas that they get the girls and they prostitute prostituting the girls outside from other countries like i don't know how you say that in english so it is that is online have been really really doing really careful carefully uh, uh, the place that I'm gonna tell you I, I used a place and I think that is a pretty safe place I don't know about the girls I don't know about the guys that, but the place is really serious and they take this really serious the name for the place is Latin American Cupid I recommend this place I was in that place and I think that is awesome uh, there are other places, right? Uh, I don't know, I never have tried before. International Cupido or International Cupid is also, I guess, they work with Latin American Cupid. And uh, I think that they are pretty good. They have a really uh, different memberships. Um, they have Latinas from uh, all the countries, so it's like a global. So I think mean, it's pretty good uh, places to you reach and you do your research and you uh, find out if you're interested. So if you want to uh, uh, meet a Latina, if you can go to Latin American countries or you don't have a Latinas around to you to meet them, well, this is a good place to, to do it. Right? I think that this is pretty much what I want to talk today about how you can find a Latina girlfriend. Uh, I wanna uh, keep doing more videos about uh, Latinas because I think that there is a lot of people interested in this and I think it's pretty nice because I can talk about that. Oh, guys, if you uh, love this video, don't forget giving thumbs up to the video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and give a click to the bell so you wanna receive a notification every time I put some new video. And thank you for all my followers for TikTok and Instagram. I love you. And see you in the next video. Bye bye. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, I'm trapping in next year. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing, new focus, no guessing Just bold an obsession, I'm in his possession, you got the retention, I leave an impression